so guys we are finally at the torture chambers um it says here welcome to Idi Amin. so who was Idi Amin? Idi Amin was a third president of Uganda who ruled Uganda for eight years under a very brutal dictatorship regime. Under him, thousands of Ugandans lost their lives. I have only come here for five minutes. I have come as a president of the Republic of Uganda and also I am speaking as a great man who is the conqueror of the British Empire. The marine that was constructed by the Israelites in the early 1970s, but later turned into a torture chamber where thousands of Ugandans lost their life. So Nadine is going to take us into the torture chambers themselves and then he's going to explain some part of the so, history. So by then we see that uh, Idi Amin. He used it at Israel mm. because he thought that these were the best engineers in construction. The best engineers? To him. Okay. I think you can see the wall from 1970s up to now. This is a wall from 1970s 70s until now. up to now. Oh, wow. Okay. So we saw that uh, they used to capture people from Kampala. Mm -hmm. They could tie them. They could fold them. They could blind them. They could put these people in the car boats and drive them around Kampala for several hours to confuse these people that they are taking fire from Kampala and later bringing them down in the torture chamber Okay These people they had already lost hope Okay, so they would take them, put, mm. blindfold them, put them mm. in a car and then drive around Kampala for hours mm. and then they bring them here and mm. the people would think they've been, they've been taken so far away from Kampala Of course, of course. Wow, that is smart <laughs> So later we say that uh, they could bring them in the torture chambers mm -hmm. So, you know, initially this place was constructed as a place of armory, okay. as a store for gunpowder. Okay. But when Idi Amin heard that the body was in Tanzania, uh -huh. planning to come back and overthrow him from power, uh -huh. he turned this place into a torture chamber. Okay. By Just then, a minute. Soldiers... I'll ask you a question about that. Mm. So. It, when Obote exiled, he exiled into Tanzania, or where did he exile to? Mm. Uh, after him, when after after his Commonwealth meeting in Singapore, uh -huh. he came back. He came to Tanzania. So he that time, Nyelele. that time, when Idi Amin had already taken over. He was already a president. Already president. Mm. So he came back to Tanzania. He came back with Nyelele when they even were capturing Kampala. Okay. He, he came back with Nyerere. I came back with Nyerere. Nyerere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, I can hear a little bit of an echo. So guys, if the sound is not good mm -hmm. going in, please forgive me. It's the echo. There's not much I can do about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so we say that the soldiers by then could stand on the top of the and by there, then there on top. Yeah, on top okay. and whoever by then trying to escape away. Okay. They could just shoot, shoot him. them. Wow. Yeah. And they died and then. Wow. Okay. So these people they targeted the main non to women and children. Okay. That are the smash on men. Okay. And people who are social, people who could pass the government. Okay. Basically, uh, they wanted to extract information from them. Okay. We see that uh, on the main entrance of this this place it had a metallic door. Okay. And this was an electric wire. Okay. The switch was there mm -hmm. and the black line you see it was the level of water. Oh I can see this line here. Mm -hmm. Was the level of water. Okay, it's lying here. Okay. So these are five cells. Okay. These are five cells. Okay. They could tell these prisoners to get out of their cells and stand in water. Oh. A soldier could connect an electric wow. wire. One could switch on and off and the water be electrified. Wow, so this electric wire here was being used to the connect the water, water here. And switch. The switch would be switched on, and the prisoners would be asked to stand here and be electrocuted. Oh my god! So this place is behind a sliding door. A sliding door. Okay. And this was the level of a truck tire. It was a level of what? Truck tire. So the truck tire was used as a staircase to go up. What I mean, mm -hmm. they were brought by the big army vehicles. Okay. And this could be the level of the tire. Oh, the tire was this big that they were, the army vehicles. They were brought by the big army vehicles, so oh. they could just move from this level to oh. this level. So the vehicle brings them inside here. And the other end. Okay, and then from here you directly into your cell. Yeah. Okay, okay, so got it. So we said that uh, these people they could suffocate, 
they could die of hunger mm -hmm. inside the cells mm -hmm. under some writings. This place what I had, I forgot to about you, mm -hmm. but uh, it was both used by Idi Amin and Obote. It was built by Idi Amin. It was both used by Idi Amin and Obote. It was used by Idi Amin and Obote. Idi Amin, Idi Amin from 1972 to 79, mm -hmm. and later Obote came back again mm -hmm. after the overthrow of Idi Amin from 1980 to 1985. Okay. And he also used this place as a chamber. Okay. When you take your eyes onto the there are some writings. Okay. Some wrote that Obote, or is this saying, Avana Rage, that Obote have killed me, but what about my children? Obote, or is this saying, Avana Rage, that Obote have killed me, but what about my children? There is no way to like go closer to see that, right? You can see the old class. Obote, it's very dark. Obote, or is this saying, Avana Rage, that Obote have killed me, but what about my children? Okay. But they have killed me, but who look after my children? Okay. So they used to pack these people in the cells like 40, 50 per room. 40, 40 people in this room? No. They used to pack them 40, 50, either 50 per room. Wow. And these people, they could suffocate. Wow. No, it is difficult for someone. When you are being trapped, no. No air. They could, no window. Yeah. So they... Oh, actually, no window. And no lights either coming from outside. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's a good point. There's no windows, there's no light coming from outside. There's no ventilation. It's only that two. Only the two. What are those little windows like to bring air? Ventilation? No. They're not like that. Ventilation, yeah. but they're not windows. Okay. They're just ventilation. Wow. Wow, that's a good point. I didn't even notice that. Oh my so God. So we see that. Uh, People they they live in the life of suffering. Mm -hmm. There's other writing here. Someone wrote that I never forget husband was killed people of a body. I never forget husband was killed people of a body. I can't see very well, but yeah, let's read for you. I never forget. I never forget husband was killed people of a body. Yeah. She was a lady. Swale S. That's the name. Yeah. Yeah. Then trying after finding that the dead body of the husband was inside here. Okay. And she wrote that I will never forget. I will never forget. I never forget husband was killed people of a body. Okay. So but in this, the last of the son. This was recent. When they wrote this, it's not so no, old. It, no, it was in that was in in 1985. That's when she wrote this. Yeah, 1985. Wow. When was still president. Um, yeah. Okay. You no, know, he was overthrown in 1985. Okay. So the lady came crying after finding out that the dead body of the husband was inside here. Okay. Yeah, and she wrote that I never forget husband was killed before the body. And the last one there's something that comes into the room. Okay, this is the, the, the darker the in more in you go, mm -hmm. the darker it gets. There's some finger palms. Finger palms? Onto the wall. On the wall? Yeah, on the wall for those in the Okay, let me Put on my flashlight. Can you guys see that? Those the brown parts, the brown parts over there. Those ones, they are hand palms, right? The hand palms. Yeah, the hand. Uh, oh yeah, here on this. So side. after getting these people, remember that they used to pack their dead bodies and throw them in the water bodies like eggs. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think they could even okay. dig a big hole. So when they kill them. They would take the bodies and throw the bodies in the yes, yeah. Okay, I At didn't know that they right. They dig a big hole and they do bury these dead bodies together. Okay. That's a grave. Okay. And the reason as to why we kept this place up to date mm -hmm. is to show the world, is to be an evidence mm -hmm. that what even you do in that oh, region. Samra was meant to switch on the flashlight so I can show you inside this one. Yeah. The reason as to why we have to express our debates mm -hmm. is to show the why is to be an evidence that what we hear mean and about the kill people during the regimes. Okay. That's why uh, there are the biggest dictators we have ever had in African history. More both of Bote and Idi Amin. About the later he passed away in 2005 in South Africa in Johannesburg. Oh, okay. 2005? Yeah, so 2005. recently. So recently. And Idi Amin passed away that was in. Uh, in 2003. Okay, so in I, Saudi Arabia. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, it, Obote was overthrown by Idi Amin, right? So before he was overthrown, was he this kind of a president or did he become this kind of a president after by he came that back? that time, during the first time. Yeah, from, was he a good president? From 1966 to 1971, mm -hmm. by that time, 
he didn't kill people. He didn't kill people. He, he was tortured. He wasn't torturing people. Okay. So he decided but during the second time, from 1980 to 85, so he was just like revenging. Yes, the what people who betrayed, him, betrayed him, him, maybe. Yeah. Right. Okay. Wow. So meaning that during the second time he was worse yeah. the first time. than the first time. But the first time also he overthrew the, 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 the Kabaka. The Kabaka, so he wasn't a uh, really. Guy, that guy was like, uh, he, was a, he was a hypocrite. Yeah. Was yeah because but this was also betraying each other. Because Obote betrayed king, our king. Yes. And later Obote was also betrayed by Idi Amin. And then Idi Amin was betrayed by Obote again. By Obote again. Who became and later, president after that? And, by, uh, and later, after the overthrow of Obote in 1985, he was also betrayed by his uh, general, general again. That the one who became general president? General Tito Kero Tua. Is the one who became president? He, he became a president for short, like a man. Oh. And later, seven came in. Wait. The current president in 1986. Wait, that is a part of history. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We can't go over it so fast. We need to go slowly about that one. So, so we so, said that uh, <laughs> yeah. Obote betrayed our Kabaka. Okay. King Motesa II. Yeah. And uh, Obote himself. He was also betrayed by Idi Amin. Amin. And Idi Amin became a president. For how many years? That was from 1971 to 1979. About eight years. Yes. Uh -huh. Then from 1980 to 1985, Obote came back again. Okay. And later he was also betrayed by, by his general. That was General Tito Kero Okay. So, so Tito Kero Tua He was president for about five years and then mm -hmm. he was. Overthrown by his general. Okay. Tito Kerotua. Okay. And later, President Museven, the current president of Uganda, came in. That was in 1986. No, I want to know about this Tito Okello because this one I've never Tito, heard of him. Tito Kerotua was also president of Uganda. For how long? For one month? No, not one month. Around the I have never heard of this, this part. I don't know. General at all. Tito Kerotua. He was, he was the one who overthrew Obote. Obote. Again. Mm -hmm. And, and then, then Museven came in 1986. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this was in Ma. Okay, okay, that is interesting. I didn't know about this Tito Kelo. Mm -hmm. So was he also overthrown? I don't know that part of history. Museven, I know. The later Museven came in, meaning that he also Museven, Museven also overthrown him. Okay, I didn't know about that part of history. That is mm -hmm. so interesting. It's very, very interesting. Yeah, so we say that uh, even the massacre, uh -huh. the killing of people down in this Tito Chamber, okay. it was stopped by then when Museven came in power. Yeah. And even making the restoration of Uganda Kingdom again because Obote had abolished the kingdom. Okay, so Museven is the one who reached. And our current king was coronated as a Kabaka okay. in 1993. Okay, okay. Yeah. That is very mm. interesting bit of history. Mm. Thank you for. So, what I say that uh, people also there, uh, we don't have uh, the king's palace when you come to Buganda Kingdom, mm -hmm. when you come to the king's palace, Mengo Palace, uh, you are able to see such. Uh, things done by the first governments mm -hmm. uh, for both of Idi Amin and Obote. Okay. And uh, we see that thousands and thousands of Ugandans were killed down there. Okay. For sure, do, we can't estimate like the an number. An <coughs> estimate, we can't right? estimate the number because okay. no one was there. So we just estimated the number. Yeah. But uh, according to the media, they said that it is around uh, 200,000 people for both governments of Idi Amin and Obote. Wow, that's a lot of people. A lot of people. That's a lot of people. Yeah, so 200,000. 200,000 of That people. is a lot of people. And uh, so, this is the only torture chambers that are known. They are the only one. Out. Are there any other? Much other known country? like for us in our kingdom, oh, Uganda. Okay, so there might be they other. Even there might be other kingdoms. Okay. The other, other torture chambers are also there. Okay. But ours? It is this one? This, this one. Oh, okay. And this is the sad part of the palace. So people are there and they should come and see. They should come and witness. Yeah. Because that's what the reason why we kept this place up to date. Okay. That is the public to make, to show the public yeah what both Idemen and Obote used to do okay. during their regimes. Okay, this is mm -hmm. very good uh, to know that part of history. Mm -hmm. And then because I don't want this video to be like super long, I am going to cut it out here. Thank you for joining us for the tour. Let me Thank know you. if there are any other questions I should have asked Nadine that I forgot. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to recommend two movies in case you don't know who Idi Amin is. I'm going to recommend two movies mm -hmm. that you can watch and learn a little bit about the history of Uganda. Do you know which movies I'm about to recommend Nadine? Like Last King of Scotland. The Last King of Scotland is one. Of which, which other one? The other one is called The Rise and Fall of Idi Amin. Mm -hmm. The rise of fall of Idi Amin Dada or the rise of fall rise and fall rise of Idi Amin. Fall, okay, I also know that. Yeah, also know that. these two mm -hmm. movies I highly recommend them, so you can go watch them and you can learn some more uh, interesting history about uh, Uganda and uh, Idi Amin. But 
I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Let's end the video here. Me and him are just going to have a conversation as we head to the next part of the history. Thank you. Bye. Say thank you to Nadine. Let me know if you found this kind of uh, content interesting. I am. I really, really love history, so this is very interesting for me. And I hope you learned something new today. And your interest was picked to visit Uganda, visit Kampala, and come see this part of uh, Ugandan history. Bye. See you in the next video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. Bye. Bye.